Okay, gang. Here is the bicycle build that the world said could not happen. I researched it on YouTube. I researched it on bike forums everywhere. The question, can you run a coaster brake hub on a frame with vertical dropouts and a chain tensioner? The answer was no. Well, of course you can't do it. It absolutely can't. Well, I did it. And here it is. No special parts, no special tools. Everything is right off the shelf. To make matters more complicated, it's an internal geared hub, Shimano Nexus 3, with a coaster brake. You can see the coaster brake arm peeking through there. So let's go over and see how it works. Okay. So, normal pedaling, nice, smooth, quiet, it pedals, it goes, it turns, everything is fine. You stop pedaling, everything's fine, three wheels. Now, we're going to apply the brakes and see what happens, see the disaster that's supposed to happen. We apply the brake, the wheel stops, and what do we see? We see that the top run of the chain has a little slack in it. Okay, but it's not very much slack. A normal 10-speed chain develops so much slack in the top run that the manufacturer chooses to put this guard, this shield, on the chain stay because otherwise the chain will come down and chip all the paint off, and I've seen that many times. The worst case condition is that you really put a lot of force on that. A lot of backpedaling force, the chain sags a little bit, but while there is slack in the rear in the upper run of the chain, the chain is not at that time going over the sprocket, so it's not going to derail. And like I said, a 10 speed chain develops a lot more slack in the upper run. So that's it. We're done. How to do it? Well, what you do is you put the wheel in, wrap the chain around, make it as tight as you can, just a little slack, working clearance. Then you put in the chain adjuster or the tensioner. Put in the tensioner, line up the pulley, line up the guide, the chain guide, tighten everything down, and you are done. You can ride. Three speed in this case. Three speed shifter up on the left handlebar. Single brake lever on the right handlebar. Just because I got a bunch of new old stock center pull brakes, Shimano, there it is. And we're done. Another myth busted. Nothing like, nothing gives me more pleasure than to go in and pick out a myth that I don't, that I don't believe and prove it wrong.